Good afternoon, I'm Matt Sinchak. I play soprano saxophone in the Anchia Saxophone Quartet. Uh, we're really excited to be playing for you this afternoon uh, or whenever you're watching this. Um, we have a very eclectic program uh, for you. The first piece that we're going to be playing is by Shostakovich. It's a prelude and fugue. He wrote 24 of these in all major and minor keys. We're playing number 17, originally an A-flat major. So here it is.
I'm Angela Wyatt. I play the baritone saxophone in the Antia Quartet, and we are thrilled to be able to play together. So thank you, John Stender, for inviting us to perform today. Our second piece is by Robin McLaughlin. A few years ago, the American Composers Forum invited us to select and perform three pieces of recent compositions for saxophone quartet, and Robin's piece on this day was one of those pieces and she has a master's degree from the University of North Carolina, and she says that on this day reflects the feelings that you would have of expectation and anticipation because you never know what's going to happen. So this is On This Day by Robin McLaughlin.
I'm Joan Hutton, and I play the alto saxophone in this group. Uh, our next piece is by Astor Piazzolla. Piazzolla was an Argentinian composer, band leader, and bandonian player. Uh, for those of you who may not be familiar with the bandonian, it's an instrument similar to an accordion. Um, he led bands uh, playing his music and uh, orchestras from the 40s through the 80s until his death in 1992. Um, and he was known for being a real innovator of the tango style. He took the traditional tangos and um, blended elements of jazz and elements of classical music and really created his own unique style. Um, this piece is Tango Suite. Uh, it was originally written for two guitars and we'll be playing the second and third movements.
Hello, everyone. I'm Reverend T.J. Parlett. I'm the senior pastor here at First Presbyterian. It's my pleasure to welcome you to this Festival of Music concert today. I know it feels strange to not be in the sanctuary altogether to listen to this music live, but we're happy that we could bring you this concert through digital technology, and we pray that they will be coming soon when we'll all be back here enjoying the sanctuary and the music here. I also want to say thank you to the Anchia Saxophone Quartet for being with us today. I would also like to express thanks to Donovan Hill for lending us his skills as a sound engineer, and of course, John Stender, who edits this all together and puts it online for our enjoyment. Thank you all. To continue this wonderful series, we do depend on your financial support. I hope that you will consider making a donation to a festival of music by sending a check to First Presbyterian Church, 512 3rd Street Southwest, Rochester, Minnesota, 55902. This is our final concert of the season. We're very grateful for your patience and your continued support as we have had to adapt to the COVID-19 protocols all season. I want to let you know that the 2021 and 22 season is in the planning stages, so we look forward to welcoming everyone back to our sanctuary in the fall. Will you join me? for a word of prayer. Gracious God, we thank you for the gift of music and the talented artists who share their gifts with us. As we delight in this beautiful music, let us always remember that all good gifts come from you. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Hello, I'm David Milne, and I play tenor saxophone. Uh, our next piece on the program is Three movements from Mary Lou Williams' suite, the Zodiac Suite. And a number of years ago, she wrote a full orchestra piece uh, that included all the signs of the Zodiac, and we're delighted to present our arrangements of three movements, starting with Taurus, continuing with Scorpio, and concluding with Gemini.
Twin Cities-based composer and jazz pianist Laura Caviani was inspired to write a piece for string quartet after she visited the Argentinian village or city of Cordoba. And David Milne, our tenor player today, has arranged this for saxophone quartet. So this is Cordoba by Laura Caviani. <laughs> This next piece is On the Sunny Side of the Street, and it's based on the Dizzy Gillespie uh, recording from 1959. 
on which he featured Sonny Rollins and Sonny Stitt. Uh, he entitled the album Sonny Side Up. It's one of my favorite jazz recordings, and I decided to arrange it. It's my first time arranging something for saxophone quartet, and this will be our first performance of it. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you for coming. Uh, before we play the last piece, I just want to thank John uh, and First Presbyterian Church for inviting us uh, to play today. We were actually supposed to play uh, about a year ago, and then the concert was uh, canceled, so we're excited that we were able to do this uh, a year later. So it's really uh, an honor and a privilege for us to be able to, to play for you today. The last piece we're going to play is titled Thank You. And it's to thank you, the audience, for listening. Um, this is written by Jerry Dodgian. He's a saxophone player, composer, and arranger. Uh, became very well known uh, playing with the Thad, Lo Thad Jones, Mel Lewis big band. Uh, and this was originally a big band piece that he wrote in the late 70s. Um, and it was uh, an homage to Duke Ellington. Uh, later on, he arranged it for saxophone quartet. So thank you by Jerry Dodgian. <laughs> 